Go number 14 takes Ralph Backstrom's pass. In the old days, we didn't wear helmets. We didn't have visors. We didn't have mouthpieces. We really didn't play for the money. We played for the love of the game and being able to live your dreams. You dream a lot when your home is the small gold mining town of Kirkland Lake, Ontario. You know, our parents didn't have a lot of money. Our, our shin pads sometimes were, were catalogs. Dad was a miner who worked deep underground. Well, this is my dad's lunch pail. You can see his name there, John Backstrom. He worked at the Lakeshore Gold Mine. It was one of the deepest mines in the world. This thing means a lot to me. And a young Ralph played hockey and played it very well. Junior hockey in Canada is pretty competitive. There's over 60 teams. It's tough, it's tough to win. But when he did, captaining his team to the Memorial Cup in 1958. Uh, we were on the Wheaties box. That's the old auditorium in Ottawa, Canada. Back from the brilliant rookie. At just 19 years of age, he was hired by the storied Montreal Canadiens. My salary was $7,000. And that year, my first year, we win the Stanley Cup. I was named Rookie of the Year, and I got a $1,000 raise to 8000 And that's the way it was. In the second, Backstrom comes down the left wing. During his career, he won six Stanley Cups. Only nine other players have won more. I was honored for playing in over 1,000 games in the National Hockey League. So After 15 years in the NHL, he went on to four more in the Upstart World Hockey Association. Hey, Ralph being 37, he inspired our younger players. My best skill was I, was I was an excellent skater. Here's the thing you probably don't know about Ralph. He invented rollerblades in 1974. Summer, I can keep my legs toned. You can see my name right on there, the Ralph Backstrom skate. I used to skate up and down the streets in L.A. and people would look at their doors and say, there goes that crazy Canadian. There were coaching stints, including nine years as head coach of the DU Pioneers. I think we had to hold the record of the most wins in a season. And through it all, an extended hockey family of celebrity. It's Alan Thicke. This is the Rocket Richard. Here's Jacques Plante. He's the first goalie ever to wear a mask. Which brings us here, to the home of the Colorado Eagles Hockey Club, a team he founded in 2002. Establishing this team was certainly one of the highlights of my, my entire hockey career. When we started the Eagles, a lot of our decisions were just common sense ideas. Oh, here we go. At some 348 consecutive sellouts and counting, the common sense has paid off. Did you ever think this would be this successful when you started? No, our projections were averaging 2,500 a game. Do you ever look around this place and say, this is the house that Ralph <laughs> built? I don't think so, but it's, you know, it's been a community effort. A Calder Trophy, a Stanley Cup ring, a lifetime of memories. There's just one thing missing. Here's a guy I grew up with, Vicki Duff. He's in the Hall of Fame. Hockey's Hollywood Hall doesn't house the name Backstrom. I know my name's come up a few times. It's a tough uh, nut to crack to try to get into the Hall of Fame, but if it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, I'm not going to lo lose any sleep over it. You're a humble man. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> you guys want a beer? <laughs>